we are going to be installing our first domain server so this is going to, this is going to be my primary domain controller as i'm calling it the dc that's the domain controller zero one that's the dc zero one to install the active directory domain service on this device what you need to do is we need to add roles or futures so just click on add roles and futures So here before you begin we can actually skip this by default but we can do, let me just click next and here we're going to do a role based or future based installation you can also do a remote desktop service installation but let's go for the first option and then click next now we need to actually select a server from this server pool we only have one server here but you can as well also install the domain service on a different server if the server is listed here you need to select that server and then click next so we're going to be selecting our server and then and make sure that the ip address is correct and probably you will have to configure your ip address to be static and not to be you not your dscp server to actually give your um, domain controller an ip address and you can see i'm using a windows server 2022 so let's click next and now I want to actually um, add the roles of the Active Directory domain service. So select it. And here you can see some extra features will be actually installed. Let's click Add Features and then click Next. So for the features, we don't need to actually add any features right now. So let's just click Next to continue our installation process. And here you can see we can actually configure Office 365 with Azure Active Directory Connect, but we don't want to do that right now. So let's just click Next. And here it says Restart the destination server automatically if required. Even if you don't select this, your device will actually ask you that it wants to restart if there's any request to restart. So here we can actually say, okay, we want to actually export our configuration settings. Let me just select that so you can see we can export it. But right now we don't want to export our configuration settings. I just want to actually install our domain service. So the solution is not going to take some take some take a long time it's going to take some few minutes so let, let me just pause this video and come back again when the installation complete and then we can now promote our server so after the domain service roles finish installing you can see we are seeing that we need to promote this server to a domain controller or you can see we, we have kind of a yellow um, mark here which also signifies that we need to actually promote this server to a domain controller so right now i just click on promote this server to a domain controller and let's just wait for some seconds and here it says add a domain controller to an, to an existing domain no we don't actually need to do that so add a new domain to an existing forest we are going to add a new forest because we don't have this is actually not a new add a domain to a controller to an existing domain we don't have an existing domain this is our new domain and this is our new forest so right now i'm going to select the root domain is going to be curveglobal.com so i'm going to click next so here we have the forest functional level is actually windows 2016 and that is actually you can actually take it to windows 2008 but we have the domain functional level also which is windows server 2016 and if you are going to install a different server as your dns server you can actually uncheck this as well but this is going to also be my dns server so i'm just going to check this and for the global catalog your first domain controller is definitely going, going to be your global global catalog and you can see that we, are, we don't have the option to select the read only domain controller so right now let me just enter the password I'll confirm your password and here we can now click next and it says this actually um, a standard so don't think maybe you are seeing an, um, an error message so here we can just click you can click click actually click show more to see what you're going to the, uh, the message kind of a warning message you are receiving so let's just click next so right now this is going to be our net domain name as a kelv global 
and then we need to just select next so for the database folder log files folder the size for folder you can see this actually the standard location but sometimes if you are working for a big company you may have a different location wherever you save your database folder and the log file so let me just leave the standard um, location and then select next and here we can now review our configuration and see if everything is okay because we also have the option to actually go to previous you can now view also click and view script you can see this is also going to be our script which we can actually use to deploy a new active directory domain service just using powershell script so let me just cancel that and now we can now say well if everything goes well let me just everything looks at everything is okay then we'll now click next so it's going to do a prerequisite check to see if all is properly configured if not you will need to go back again and configure it configure any error message that is being displayed on your screen so at this moment you can see we said all the prerequisite checks passed successfully so um, you have some um, yellow marks here which of course is just a warning so it's not an error message and you can see so we can now click install to start the installation process so this is going to take some few time for some few minutes or let me just pause this video and probably restart my device and then come back again at this moment you can see we are still trying to install we already have our active directory we don't have um, the users and co computers have been configured so let's restart our device let's this complete let us restart our device before we now start the full configuration of our server here we go you can see that the installation just get completed and it says you are about to sign out and here my device is going to actually restart to complete the installation process so after restarting our device you can now see that we now have the option to actually log on to this device um, as an administrator but in a domain environment and not on not to the local device anymore so if you want to log on to the local device you just need to select other user and then log on locally as an administrator but right now if i enter the password I'll be logging on to this device as, as as an administrator, but to the domain calvglobal.com.